Picture the year 1977, a time when the world buzzed with the thrill of space discovery, and anticipation filled the air. On a launch pad in Florida, humanity prepared to send not just a message but a spacecraft, Voyager 1, into the cosmos. This wasn't just another mission, it was a daring leap into the unknown, a milestone for our species. Voyager 1's first goal? To visit Jupiter and Saturn, capturing breathtaking images of their swirling storms, majestic rings, and mysterious moons. These snapshots would unveil secrets of our solar system, broadening our cosmic perspective. But Voyager 1 had an even greater destiny, to become our ambassador to the stars. Its mission was to travel beyond the planets, carrying a piece of humanity into the endless expanse of interstellar space. Fastened to its side was the Golden Record, a gold-plated disc filled with greetings in 55 languages, music, and the sounds of Earth. This time capsule was crafted for any distant intelligence that might one day discover it. Like a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic sea, it declared, This is who we are. These are our dreams, our values, and the wonders we wish to share with the universe. On September 5, 1977, a Titan III-E rocket thundered skyward, launching Voyager 1 and our collective hopes. The world watched in awe as the journey of a lifetime began. Voyager 1 was equipped with an array of instruments, cameras, spectrometers, detectors. Our robotic explorer, meticulously engineered to survive the rigors of space and collect invaluable data. More than just a machine, Voyager 1 is an extension of humanity a testament to our curiosity, creativity, and relentless urge to explore beyond our home world. For over 40 years, it has traveled farther than any other human creation, a silent envoy venturing into the unknown. It has crossed boundaries no spacecraft had ever reached, pressing onward with unwavering determination. Voyager 1 carries our questions and our longing to understand the universe. Each signal it beams home is a fragile link, connecting us to the farthest frontiers of space. As it drifts ever farther from the sun, it continues to send faint echoes from the edge of the known. Its distant signals remind us that, even in the vast emptiness, we are still reaching out, still searching. Voyager 1 is a solitary pioneer, still revealing our place in the cosmos. Its odyssey inspires us to gaze upward, to wonder, and to keep questioning the universe around us. It reminds us that exploration is woven into our very nature. The drive to discover, to seek new horizons, is at the heart of what it means to be human. And Voyager 1's journey is far from finished. As it continues its silent trek, it carries the story of Earth and the boundless spirit of exploration that defines us all. Voyager 1's path wasn't a straight shot. It was a cosmic dance with gravity, weaving through the solar system in a carefully choreographed journey each maneuver was calculated, using the invisible pull of planets to guide its way, like a celestial slingshot. Taking advantage of a rare planetary alignment, Voyager used Jupiter's immense gravity to slingshot itself toward Saturn, gaining incredible speed without burning precious fuel. This gravity assist was a master stroke of engineering and timing, allowing the spacecraft to visit multiple worlds in a single mission. At Jupiter in 1979, Voyager revealed the Great Red Spot's swirling fury, discovered faint, ghostly rings, and found Eos volcanic activity. Eruptions more powerful than any seen on Earth, reshaping our understanding of the giant planet system. The solar system was more dynamic, mysterious, and beautiful than we'd ever imagined, filled with vibrant colors, storms, and unexpected wonders. In 1980, Voyager reached Saturn, unveiling the intricate icy structure of its rings and the thick, organic-rich atmosphere of Titan, Saturn's largest moon. These discoveries hinted at the possibility of complex chemistry, and perhaps even the ingredients for life, far from the warmth of the Sun. After Saturn, its primary mission was complete, but Voyager's journey was far from over. It was flung out of the planetary plane, venturing into the vast unknown, heading toward interstellar space with new objectives. In 1990, at Carl Sagan's heartfelt request, Voyager turned its cameras back for a final look, a family portrait of the solar system, capturing every planet from a distance never seen before. Earth appeared as a pale blue dot, 
a tiny, fragile speck in the vastness of space, a humbling reminder of our place in the universe and the unity of all life on our planet. After that iconic image, the cameras were turned off to save power for the long journey ahead, ending Voyager's ability to see, but not its ability to sense. Voyager could no longer see, but it could still feel. Its instruments continued to listen, measuring cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and the changing environment as it drifted farther from home. It sailed into uncharted territory, becoming humanity's scout at the edge of the solar system, the first messenger to cross into interstellar space. Its journey was just beginning, a voyage beyond imagination, carrying our hopes and curiosity into the endless night. How do you talk to a spacecraft over 15 billion miles away? With patience and ingenuity, NASA's deep space network, giant radio antennas in California, Spain, and Australia, strains to catch Voyager's faint signal, weaker than a watch battery. Communicating is like waiting nearly two days for a reply. The main goal, find the edge of our solar system, the heliopause, where the sun's influence ends. Voyager's instruments measure the density, temperature, and magnetic field of the plasma around it. Scientists hope to map the boundary between our solar bubble and the galaxy beyond. The data would reveal how our solar system interacts with the wider cosmos. Voyager was our scout, sent to define the borders of home. Its faint signals carried the secrets of the final frontier, and we listened, eager for every whisper. For years, Voyager 1 traveled through the Helios Heath, the turbulent edge of the solar system. Here, the solar wind slowed and collided with the interstellar medium, creating chaos and swirling magnetic fields. In 2012, everything changed. Solar particles dropped to near zero, while galactic cosmic rays spiked. Voyager had crossed the heliopause, the first human-made object in interstellar space. It was a monumental achievement. We now had a presence between the stars. Voyager sensed the galaxy's magnetic field, not the sun's, a profound transition. But the boundary wasn't simple. It was messy, porous, and full of surprises. The data didn't fit our models. The universe was more complex than we'd imagined. Voyager answered one question, where our solar system ends, but opened many more. The edge of home was stranger than we thought. Each new reading brought more mystery. The universe, it seems, always has another secret, and Voyager was there to find it. Years after entering interstellar space, Voyager 1 detected something unexpected. A faint, persistent hum. Not a sound, but a vibration in the plasma. The superheated gas between stars. Its plasma wave system recorded a constant, low-frequency drone, baffling scientists. Models predicted silence, disturbed only by rare solar shock waves. But this hum was always there, even without solar events. The plasma was far thinner than any vacuum on Earth, yet something kept it vibrating. The source of this energy was a mystery. Our theories couldn't explain it. The hum revealed that interstellar space isn't empty or quiet, but subtly alive. Voyager had stumbled upon the ambient song of the galaxy. This discovery forced scientists to rethink the very fabric of space. The universe was singing, and for the first time we could hear it. What does the interstellar hum sound like? If we could hear it, it'd be a low drone, about 3 kilohertz. This constant signal lets us measure plasma density continuously, not just during solar storms. Now, we can map the texture and turbulence of the interstellar medium in real time. The leading theory, the hum comes from thermally excited plasma oscillations, heat in the gas itself, or perhaps countless faint disturbances from the galaxy combined to create this steady background. Voyager wasn't built to find this but its sensitive instruments revealed a hidden feature of our galaxy. Science thrives on surprises. Voyager's discovery is a perfect example. Sometimes the universe answers questions we never thought to ask. And that's when we learn the most. Why does a faint hum matter? Because it changes our view of the space between stars. We once thought it was a near-perfect vacuum, featureless and empty. Now we know it's dynamic, with structure and texture we can measure. This is crucial for understanding how our solar system's shield, the heliosphere, protects us from cosmic rays. 
The hum lets us model this shield more accurately and predict how it might change as we move through the galaxy. For future interstellar missions, knowing the plasma's density and turbulence is essential. It's like early sailors learning the currents of a new ocean. On a deeper level, the hum connects us to the galaxy. It's a sign we're part of a vast, living system. We're a small bubble in a humming ocean, not isolated but intertwined with the cosmos. This discovery makes the universe feel less empty, more alive. Wherever we look, we find complexity and wonder. And Voyager's hum is our invitation to keep exploring. Voyager, one story, is about more than science. It's about humanity's spirit, our drive to reach beyond what we know, and our endless curiosity about the universe. For nearly 50 years, this small but remarkable machine has been our scout in the unknown, venturing farther than any human-made object before, showing us beauty and mystery beyond imagination. Its journey mirrors our own, always reaching, always learning, always pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Voyager's discoveries remind us that the universe isn't obligated to make sense. Our models are just guesses, always evolving as we gather new data and insights. The heart of science is humility and wonder, and Voyager embodies that spirit, carrying our questions and our hopes into the vast unknown. As we plan new missions and build new telescopes, Voyager's legacy inspires us to dream bigger, to imagine what lies beyond the next horizon, and to keep exploring. Each mission builds on the last. Voyager proved we could leave home and touch the galaxy, setting the stage for future explorers to follow. Its greatest gift is perspective. The pale blue dot reminds us how small and precious our world is, a fragile oasis in the vastness of space. Its discoveries remind us how vast and full of wonder the universe remains, with countless mysteries still waiting to be uncovered. There is always more to explore, more to learn, more to amaze us, and more questions to ask as we journey ever outward. Voyager 1 is proof of our curiosity, courage, and relentless quest for knowledge, a shining symbol of what humanity can achieve when we dare to dream.